Hey South, I'm here editing this video that we're about to show you. And as I've been editing and listening to the stories the staff have been telling, I'm just sensing some threads of what God's been up to over the last year. And so I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a journey and trace these threads for you. Let's check it out. I love the fact that our website acts as sort of a front door sneak peek into our community for people who are looking for a church home. They get to watch sermons ahead of time. They get to see photos that our volunteer photographers are taking at events and gatherings and on Sunday mornings. When we're worshiping on Sunday mornings, when we're gathering with friends and family over a meal in the lobby, when we're gathering in small groups and Bible studies, we're actually creating a welcoming atmosphere that encourages people to look in and to think, maybe I can see myself in that place. This looks like a place that I could belong. We continue to see people come in, new people come in on Sunday mornings, which is super fun because we wanna to continue to create environments that feel like coming home. Seeing people connect with other people in the community and for them to find their space and to be able to say that this could be home, or this is home for me. People feeling safe, loved, and to feel ultimately the love of Jesus present. We've done uh, the landscaping out front, and we're hoping that before the summer is out, we'll be able to get some flowers growing, maybe some trees, and make it a great place that people feel warm and welcome. My favorite things this year has got to be Pentecost Sunday, and the bringing together of everybody. I mean, we're talking about the Holy Spirit, we're talking about church and community and taking steps with Jesus and all of that like merged into this beautiful one Sunday in just this palpable way. Like in that moment, you can see the connection happening and the connection isn't the end. That is often the beginning, but around those tables, the connection that's happening there, people getting to know each other, that's what this church, that's what the body is about. That's what we get to do. That's kingdom development. That's putting a foundation of planting seeds for generations. That's, yeah, and that's my jam. That makes me excited. Our hall is, when I'm at the end of the service, I'm like weaving through big clumps of people just hanging out and talking, and I think it's just like, there's kind of a buzz growing and just relationships building. There's so much energy in that hallway on Sunday mornings. You really are dodging different families and people <laughs> that are just connecting in a way yeah. that probably we hadn't seen before this yeah. last year. Yeah. So I don't want to take credit for something the Holy Spirit is doing because it's just obvious that He is involved in that. Yeah, we've been very focused on getting the students more involved. That's been something that for years being here at South, I've always wanted kind of a student section in the in the front of the mm -hmm. church, because um, I've always been trying to encourage the students to come up there, and we've been getting that going over yeah, the past yeah. year, and that's been really fun for me to see that just the, the students bringing this heart of worship and this excitement and this joy into the service. So you see what I mean? There is an energy around South. It's, it's, it's in the kids' hallway. It's in the way the students are worshiping the services. It's in the energy in our lobby, and all of that I mean, we're doing it South. We're becoming a church that creates environments that feel like coming home. And people are, they're coming here and they're finding community and relationship. But more importantly than that, we're not just attracting people to us. You South Fellowship Church, by the power of the spirit are going beyond these walls. And we're taking the way of Jesus all around our city and all around the world. <laughs> Let's check that out. Our care ministry really ends up helping people with all sorts of needs, spiritual, um, practical, uh, community-wise. Well, sometimes we get to hear the outcome of those stories, which if they're not in our community, we don't always get to see. But hearing uh, someone come back and call Dan the other week and say, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but you helped me cover rent when I was looking for a job. I found one and a coworker of mine is going through um, loss and need someone to talk to and I told them to call you because you were such a helpful space for me when I was going through this hard hard time getting to hear every so often like God works God did something they're in a better spot that's a really wonderful thing we get to serve so many people in the community I love the way that South even long before I started in our DNA we feel like this is God's building. So we're gonna share it with as many ministries and partners that we can. And so there are people daily coming and going and using this room or using that room or booking these rooms. And then you spread that out to volunteers who are coming and, well, I'll help paint this. Well, I'll help uh, fix this. 
and I can wire this, and uh, God's using many people to keep our building going. I would say for food bank, what comes in goes out and then it comes back in. It's almost like the shelves can't be emptied if we try. We give it out, give it out, give it out, give it out. We see all these cars fill boxes and we look in the shelves and go, <sighs> and then someone calls up and, hey, I've got a delivery that we want to bring in. I think what has been just the biggest blessing in my life is being able to meet people, whether it's over the phone, and then they step into the office or just coming in off the streets, um, whether it's people needing different forms of assistance or our unhoused friends. Like the relationships that I've created in that space have been just so lovely and so challenging at the same time. I thought that, you know, I had nothing in common with somebody that was homeless because I had never experienced that. And I think when you step into other people's stories, you, like we're all wanting the same thing. We all want to be seen and loved and heard. And so creating those friendships and just sharing different stories about our struggles. And that's been just the, the best part of my job. And we sent a team in February to Guatemala and for them just to be able to, to share about Jesus with kids that don't even speak the same language, you can communicate love pretty easily. We have some incredible ministry partners and I would love for the congregation to know them better. The church planters have some just incredible stories. We're involved with children, both rescuing them from sex trafficking to uh, helping them get off the streets. That's a big heartbeat of mine. So to really experience the heart of Jesus, you can't do that unless you are loving your neighbor, unless you are feeling that love for your neighbor, whether it's a local neighbor or whether it's a global neighbor. Um, this summer, it was one of our park nights. So you know, when we arrived, there was this gentleman and he was really concerned that we were gonna ask him to leave. Uh, but what happened instead was our students began to in interact with him. Everyone came together and saying, we wanna pray for this, this individual and for his family and for his father. And he said to me, you know, I thought that you guys were gonna judge me. Uh, but instead you welcomed me. That was our students living out the sermons that, that we're teaching, that Alex has been teaching. I, I get choked up thinking about it because that is what we're doing in South. The students actively living out in his way with his heart without us even instigating that. I don't know about you, but that sounds a lot like we're becoming a church that our city and world would miss if we were gone. And if I'm honest, I didn't even notice how much ground we'd covered until I was editing this video. But there's another thread that many of you may not see. God is up to something really special for our next generation ministries. That's students and that's kids. They are in many ways becoming the tip of the spear to shape the culture of South Fellowship, not only today, but long into the future. Let's check that out. Well, some of the really fun things that we've done this year is we hosted Eagle Lake Day Camp for the first time, and it was a blast. Um, we also started Merge Sundays, which is a collaboration between student ministry and kids ministry on the four Sundays of the month. So all of our kids, regardless of their age, get to interact with one another, and the students have an opportunity actually to take on leadership roles and lead the younger kids. And so one of our biggest goals in this year was to ensure that the that South students wasn't a separate entity um, from South Fellowship as a faith community. And we've seen that in beautiful ways this year through things like Merge, where South students and South Kids Ministries are working collectively together. So we had a, uh, an event recently, just a couple of weeks ago, where we invited families to our Wednesday night end of year barbecue and mini golf. And when we prepped for the event, we took out the volleyball net, nine square, a bunch of other games uh, that we were expecting the students to you know, be playing with as we do whenever we go to these park events. But what actually happened was, you know, we took a moment and looked around and parents are visiting with each other and just like breaking bread together. And then on the playground and out in the field, all of the students were just being with and watching and engaging with the kids. No one was on the volleyball court, no one was playing nine ball, 
they were just being together collectively. I mean, it was just like this beautiful thing that uh, really um, took what we're what we're doing in Merge outside of like the fourth Sunday of the month and demonstrated that it transcends that and it's just you know developing those generational uh, ties together instead of like silos. But we also have the privilege of watching God works supernaturally in the lives of kids. I love how little kids pray. I love their like, to me, it is just awe-inspiring listening to them pray, but also the things that they boldly ask him for that sometimes I'm, I've am i stopped asking him for. It's I love it when parents out of the blue will text me or um, catch me on a Sunday and tell me something that their child has repeated to them or in mm -hmm. school that they have learned at church. Um, just last week I was talking to a mom and she said, I just could not, it just overwhelmed my heart when he said one of his favorite things was his Bible. Um, the students have experienced a lot of transition mm -hmm. over the last few years. And, and something that we really stress during the interim period and now transitioning into this time where Sean and I are both on full-time staff is that we don't have to just be transitioning from person to person or from thing to thing throughout life but we can continually be growing closer and closer towards Jesus. And so over the last year, we've seen a lot of growth, growth of relationships with the students and the kids, but also we've seen a lot of growth between the relationships of students with each other and the students with God. What I'm excited for this year is to continue to grow on the foundation of some of the things that have been well established over the course of this year. Yeah. Wow, it is so exciting to hear about what God is doing with our kids and students, isn't it? Something else I wish I had time to share with you in this video is all of the times that these leaders referenced many of you and how you all have participated in seeing all of these stories come to fruition. But something else that they did is they each described this longing for more of you to participate in what God's been doing here at this community. And it wasn't like they just need holes filled. They had this longing to see all of you get to experience the joy of what it means to get in the game. I think Amy and Kathy say it really well in this next clip, so I just want to cut to them as they invite you to step into the game. Well, and I would also love to see more volunteers. Even if people just come for one Sunday a month, I think they will be amazingly blessed by what they see going on with the kids. And I think um, I think a lot of our teachers would say that they get more out of these things, the interactions with the kids than even the kids possibly, because it's just, it's amazing watching kids' faith grow and it's getting to be a part of it is an honor. And I hope that I'd love to see some other people step into those roles and see how God uses that in their own lives too. If you're a person who maybe has been following God for a long time and you're a little stagnant in your faith, come mm -hmm. and hang out with some kids yeah. Yeah. because it really will challenge you and change you. You'll see things in a very fresh perspective. What you just heard was just a few of the stories that are happening in the middle of our community. There's so many more that we could tell. We could talk about MUPS and the way that it's gathering young mothers together, bringing new families into our community. We could talk about men's ministry, women's ministry, how we have more men studying scripture together than we've had uh, in the last four years, uh, at least. We could talk about all of these things. We could talk about how so many new people coming into our community are saying, something like this. I'd kind of given up on church. Kind of wasn't sure that it was for me. I'd been hurt by church, wounded, and for some reason I found a home here at South. Could talk about the people that have said, I haven't been to church in years, but something here is speaking to me. I'm coming back for more. South, we are learning to live in the way of Jesus with the heart of Jesus. We're doing that together, and I'm so excited to see what the next year looks like in this community.